Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. In this video, we are going to show you how to replace a power supply inside an Xbox Series S. Now, uh, if you are trying to turn your Xbox on and it's absolutely dead, it could relate to a power supply issue. So we're gonna show you how to replace the internal power supply. So first things first, we need to take the case off. Now, way to do that, flip the console over. On the back here, you'll see two little white tabs. We have to remove those, so get yourself a pair of pliers or a flat blade screwdriver and just pull off those white tabs like so. And then below the white tabs themselves, there are two black screws. Now you need a Torx bit screwdriver to take these screws off. Uh, on this one, it's a Torx 9. Simply remove these two black screws like so. And then what we need to do is pop the console onto its top side like so. So the back is facing upwards and literally slide this back panel uh, bottom panel backwards like so and then it just lifts off like so next thing to do we need to remove this top white case uh, now to do that we need to remove the green screws all the other screws can stay there for the time being but just for now we're going to remove this top case so let's remove these green screws So with the green screws removed, we also need to remove a few of the silver screws which are holding the power supply. Now the ones to remove are uh, these two at the rear, these ones here, and that one at the front there. So we take those silver screws out now. So with those silver screws removed uh, on this side, which hold the power supply in, um, easy way to remember is that's the one, the only one silver screw that remains, all of the others come out. So now we need to take the top case off. Now, thing to remember is just be careful with these two plastic white lugs here. They can snap off really easy when you remove this top case. So what we're gonna do is just gently pull them outwards to remove the case. So you flip the case around Gently pull out this way, like so, and then the top case will start to come off. Keep the pressure on pulling out the sides of the case, give the case a wiggle, and then it'll pop off, like so. So just be careful of these white lugs. Now we need to remove this RF shield as well. That's simply just give that a wiggle and that will pop off, like so. And then you can get access to this, which is your power supply. All you need to do is simply tug it upwards like so and it will come off. It's actually the connectors there which connect the power supply to the motherboard like so. Now I'm going to show you a quick example of uh, why you would need to replace a power supply. We just put this to one side a minute. 
This is a uh, actual 40 power supply, which uh, has come out of another Xbox Series S. And as you can see, there's uh, an issue here on the actual power supply itself, where one of the components has gone bang. Now, funny enough, this is probably the third or fourth uh, Xbox Series S power supply that I've seen this happen to. So I do wonder if there's some kind of manufacturing fault uh, with these power supplies and it's in exactly the same place as well. So I don't know if, uh, you know, it's just been unlucky for some of the people that I've been repairing consoles for or uh, if it is going to be a common fault on the Series S. Right, there you go, that's the example. Let's get back to replacing our power supply. So now you've got the power supply out. You can get your replacement power supply. Only goes in one way. Easiest way to remember is obviously where you plug the power cord in at the back, it goes to the back of the console. Simply, you'll feel it line up as you drop it in like so, and then just gently push it down and it clicks into place and that's the actual connect on the motherboard connecting get your RF shield again line that up pop it into place like so on that goes then we can actually start putting the uh, the top case on now uh, easiest way to do this again we just need to be careful of these uh, black, uh, sorry, white uh, uh, lugs where the black screws screw into. Easiest way I found is to turn the console up on its rear like so. Get the actual uh, casing. Uh, where the USB port comes through this hole, line it up with the actual USB port on the front of the console like so. Okay, the case won't go on all the way, but make sure it's just the USB port and the hole for the USB port is lined up. Yeah. Move the console down while then pulling outwards these uh, the, the side parts to the uh, uh, top case. Being careful not to snap them. Slide it down and then make sure the back of the casing slides around and goes over where it should do, like so. Okay, and then you can turn it uh, over and then start putting all the screws back in again. So with all the screws back in now, all the green screws, all the silver screws back in, what we need to do is replace the bottom panel that literally just drops into place like so. Move it back a bit and then just slide it into place. And then obviously last piece to do is the black screws, which hold the bottom plate on. One that side. And then one on the other side, like so. And then just quickly pop your white caps back over the screws again, like so, and like so. And there you have it, how to replace the power supply on an Xbox Series S. So I do hope you enjoyed the video, hope it was useful. Um, just a real quick uh, and simple uh, video to show you how to replace the power supply uh, when you have no power uh, issue to your Xbox Series S. Uh, hope it was useful, if it was, please give us a thumbs up. Please also consider subscribing to the channel. We are adding more uh, repair videos weekly to the channel. More videos coming up from the PlayStation 5 repairs, more videos coming up for Xbox Series S, Series X repairs, and also the uh, now older Xbox One X, Xbox One S, and PlayStation 4 repair videos. So as I say, thanks very much for viewing. Take care of yourselves. See you all again soon. Bye-bye for now.